Hello, everyone. Welcome to another insightful session of Deji Bytes. Today, we have Ratan Deep with us. So, Ratan, maybe you can directly introduce yourself rather than adding words from my end. Well, thank you, Vaibhav. Uh, and uh, hello, everyone. So, my name is Ratan Deep Singh. Actually, I have 12 years of experience in, in total. I am mainly working on the analytics side. So, I hope you are aware about the analytics, what analytics is. So Ratan, when we say analytics um, and you said uh, you are working on SAP side, so what kind of components or tools you, you are utilizing in that? So mainly I'm working on the analytics. I'm working on SAP BW, SAP BW HANA, SAP HANA and SAP BO. So I'm working on various uh, tools. So SAP BW and HANA is from the, the data modeling side and SAP is BO from the reporting side. So it's a front end tool. So currently I'm also working on the SAC. It's also a front end tool. That's really nice. So when we say a data modeling component and as well as the front end component, so can you give some examples to make it clear for the audience what is exactly modeling is and what is meant by the front end tool? Uh, yes, definitely. So data modeling side is mainly let me give you an example because many people may not aware about this term. So with the help of example, I'll try to explain. So we have two types of systems. One is transactional system. And so what is transactional system? Where we store the data. So uh, like, uh, let's, let's take an example of uh, banking. So every day there is a lot of transactions happening in a banking server. So they have to write the transaction on a day-to-day -day basis, like uh, I debited something, I debited some amount from the bank. So immediately the transaction is written and at the immediate effect, you get to know what is the remaining balance in your bank account. So this is the transactional system. So on day-to-day -day basis, there are multi-million records are created in the system. So it is right optimized. It's OLTP system. I'm working on the OLAP system. So I extract the data from the OLTP system and I model the data in such a way uh, so that I can extract the data if I have to filter on any data, like uh, I have to extract the data of 2010. So I will be able to read it very fast from the billions of records. So it's a data modeling technique by which we create a model in such a way so that we can read data easily. So OLTP system used to write the data, OLAP system is used to read the data faster. And this is the data modeling side. And if I talk about the front end, so it's the reporting tool where we can see like a you get the statement from the bank. So it is generated from the front end tool. Or if you are, uh, you are, you have opened uh, any bank portal, so you can see like what is the balance, like uh, uh, what is the balance of your account. You can uh, do some transaction from that side. So it's a front end side of the portal. So if I uh, short your words and, or uh, if I try to um, tell in a nutshell, what is the, the front end and the modeling thing is, so at the modeling side, you are handling a huge amount of transactional data that is generated on a daily basis. And you are like optimizing it and inserting it into the OLAP system. And at the front end, uh, your customers or business users are able to view that data. Exactly, you're absolutely right. So we have different different systems. Uh, we have three systems. One is right optimized OLTP system that is used by the bank server. Then we have OLAP system from where we extract the data for the reporting purpose. And the third system is reporting system where we can see like what the exact picture is. It's the front end or the presentation, mainly where the data is present. So uh, when it comes to, you told me that there, there are different uh, front end tools like BO, or SAC and maybe many others are there. So how you decide which tool will be best for the uh, customers to view that, that uh, details or reports that you generate at the front end? Uh, so to, to, first of all, we need to see like what type of data needs to be present in the report. So it is based on the requirement. If user want to see the granular level report. So granular level means item by item level. So in that case, we have to use some different type of tool. If we need to see like a, a pie charts and graphical interface. So in that case, we will see what type of tool is required. And the other, other thing is we need to see the pricing part also. So these are the major things that we see. 
when we when we select any tool that's really nice and uh, when we talk about the market about these uh, sap hana or bw tools uh, what is the like uh, requirement in the market is it very popular tool or it's just like on an an average tool or uh, it is a preferred by business that uh, yeah we should have this kind of tool in our um, application arena uh, so that we can gain more customers so mainly if we talk about the sap tool it is it is used by uh, a lot of customers it is expensive tool so the small companies may not use it but the big mnc's fortune 500 companies definitely they are using it so if we talk about bw and hana it is widely used in a market so it is really good and sap in in the sap we have uh, we have many standard procedures or standard modules that are already available like uh, for the hr side for the fi side sales and distribution there are many others more than hundreds of modules that are available by the sap itself so we don't have to create each and everything we we get directly from the sap side so it is easy to use also so it is it is used in a market so basically you are trying to say that uh, we already have the architecture developed in the system and we just need to insert our data there and it will be like uh, just input and utilize yes so uh, let me explain you in a better way so we have two type of uh, things if we there is one standard functionality that is given by the sap uh, for example like there is a sales and distribution so we just have to add our vendors where to supply where to uh, distribute our thing so the concept is already developed so if we want to customize something like uh, uh, in the standard functionality from the the product will go from a to b it is standard functionality but if we have to customize like from a it will go to c then it will go to b so if something customization is required that we have to do but otherwise if we use the standard functionality most of the things are already readily available we can directly use it so that that is quite helpful for the customers itself because they do not put much effort in order to uh, build their requirements and uh, it will be just easy uh, you come with your data sets you utilize the functionality and you can view it at the front end yeah yes that's... but but for that you need to know what is the standard functionality so that okay. will be the thing because as if you don't know how the standard functionality is working you will not be able to work it so for that you need to know how sap has created this module so what is the standard functionality that is available to us so are there any sets of trainings for this um, which we can find online or it is uh, we have to reach out the sap consultants and find out uh, or they provide us some trainings how yes. how it works trainings are trainings are given by the sap team uh, sap consultants also and as well as there are many institute that are giving trainings also you will get a lot of data on the uh, youtube udemy so the the trainings are available so there are a lot of consultant uh, in the market they are they are giving their trainings and they are recording their videos and they are putting the videos uh, on youtube so you can you can get a lot of help from there and there is a lot of sap documents that are available for uh, almost all the functionalities on the internet so you can browse it from uh, help.sap that's that's really sound so it means uh, um, sap hana and the other components have really good good and strong community on the uh, internet yes we you will get almost a resolution for each and every query and uh, the help page is quite helpful yeah. so you will get uh, you will get a lot of help from the help page that's really good so if um, as a person um, i am working in any it company where uh, i am currently working on other tools like uh, tableau maybe uh, obiee or spotfire and if i want to switch into this particular technology so how hard it would be for me to do that well, like you mentioned tableau so i say tableau and sap bo or ssc it works on the similar things like you extract the data from the modeling tool in our case it's sap ba bw or hana and you have to create reports on them so the functionality is more or less same it's just that you need to know like uh, how the creation works or the how the option is available 
So, but most of the tools work in a similar way. If we talk about the uh, SAP in a similar way, we have uh, Oracle, we have JD Edward. There are many other tools available in a market. So, so the mainly we have a lot of tools available in a market on a similar platform. Like uh, if you say it's Tableau, so it, the same thing we can work on SAP BO. Same thing can be done in Power BI. So the tools work in a similar fashion. It's just that you need to know where, where the option is. SAP modeling side, we are working on the SAP BW. We have similar tools available from different companies like uh, JD, Edward, Oracle, uh, PeopleSoft. There are other tools also. So the purpose of tool is same. We extract the data from OLTP system. We do the modeling in the OLAP system and prepare the data according to the business need. That sounds perfect. So um, as an IT person, if I want to switch, it won't be that difficult. It's just I have to focus on few concepts and grab and the understanding in a right manner and I will be able to work on that. Yes, mainly you need to know how tool is working. Conceptually, it will be same, but you need to know the, uh, you need to take the knowledge of tool. That's, that's a uh, perfect because uh, no one can switch to one technology another without knowing how it works maybe the background is same but yes for actually working on that tool you need to gain the knowledge on that exactly. so yes. that sounds perfect uh, my last question would be to you because uh, till now you have gave, gave me a lot of insights that uh, how it will be helpful uh, for building the requirements from business doing analytics stuff and also the market and the community it has but uh, if i talk about in terms of jobs are there good uh, amount of jobs available in the market for the sap hana bw or it is uh, uh, there is a difficulty for the customers or for the job seekers to find jobs on that uh, if i talk about job openings so for the sap hana there are a lot of job openings available in indian market so uh, um, sap hana and sap bw we have only tools modeling tools available from the sap so we have a lot of uh, openings there so sap bw is uh, getting obsolete i can say so the replacement is sap bw on hana sap bw for hana and sap hana so these are three different technologies that comes under HANA umbrella. So if we talk about HANA, yes, we have a lot of openings. And if you want to get into a, a get into a company, so definitely you need to learn about the tool. If you have certification, you will get, you will be beneficial, and uh, there will be a lot of chances that you can get in. If you are a fresher, if you are an experienced, definitely you will get you will get a lot of opportunity. For three plus, there are a lot of opportunities. That sounds really good. So, guys, if you are looking to switch your job into SAP HANA sites, there's a huge market available, and you can just learn about the tool and can grab the opportunity. And additionally, like uh, this is a question mark for every job seeker. So, what is the salary range for the uh, individuals who are working from like fresher level to the experience level like 10 to 12 years like you uh, so i can say in a market after covid so salary range is completely different from 2020 okay. so if you are 10 year experience i can say the 20 lakh package is normal nowadays but in the previous time like uh, that time whatever your experience is you can multiply it from 1.5 to into 2 this is normal range in a market. If you are, if you have good knowledge, good skills, there is no limit of salary. But if we talk about every salary, it will be for 10 year experience, it will be somewhere on 20 lakh. So guys, you, yeah, like after listening to Ratan, you should be very excited about learning SAP HANA and getting an opportunity. So it's, it's a win-win situation. So you will learn a lot. Um, it will be easy to use for a customer and as well as uh, you have a good salary range, uh, which uh, will help you out in your career. So Definitely. rather than any last words that you would like to add uh, uh, for our audience. So I would say SAP is a huge market. So if anyone tries to learn, you will get a lot of data over the internet. Definitely please go into it. And uh, if you have any questions, you can put a comment. We will definitely reply and uh, try to resolve your query. 
so i can say thank you all thank you ratan for such an interesting and insightful session and audience if you have any questions or any queries for ratan you can just put it on the comments or reach out uh, in the mentioned email id in the description of the video and we will get back to you with the answers thank you everyone and thank you ratan for your insightful session thank you weber for calling thank you yeah. thank you